15 months of frustration. You said oh. you were going to take it out on, on <laughs> Sam. It took you right until six seconds from the end. Did you think that that was beginning to slip away from you towards the end there? Uh, to be honest, I wasn't sure how it was going in the scorecards. I was... Uh, Every time I come in close to him, he was swinging from his arse, which I knew, but pretty intimidating when you're in there. I was thinking, fuck, every time I got close to that guy, he's fucking thrown me off him. Try to set him up with the inside low kick. He, he checked a real good one, I think it was the end of the first or in the middle of the second, can't remember, I got fucking cracked a few times. Uh, so it stopped me keeping my distance with, with my kicks. So I had to change it up and come in and touch him with my right hand. And he was doing a good job of going back, but I knew when he was going back, he was setting him up for that right hand. My corner guy shouted fucking, I thought he shouted 45 seconds or something, but in reality it was 10. And I was like, all right, fuck it, if I can't hear him, I'm just going to go. It helped me two, two good shots and I knew I was setting him up for that right hand. Uh, but fuck, he's a tough bastard then. He had you in a little bit of trouble, obviously, in the second. What did he hit me with, a right hand and in the knee? Is it, yeah, yeah, what was yeah. Was it? Fucking knee, good yeah. shot, he fucking hits hard. I tasted uh, one of his right hands in the... The start of the first round, I think, uh, and I tried to come back with the right hand, and I felt my fucking chin up in there. And I was like, if I get hit with that again, I'm in trouble. So I had to start tucking my tucking my head, and that's when I get hit with the knee after the right hand again. So it played devil's advocate. Me trying to chuck, tuck my chin so I didn't get right with the hand, got me hit with the knee in the end. So it's fucking gave me chest in there, and it you go one way, he goes the other way. So it's hard trying to hard trying to navigate your way around that fucking board sometimes. How's it feel to come back after so much time away? Uh, you know, <sighs> retirement. A lot of people didn't know what was going to happen, and then you come back and you score a resounding victory like that. Yeah. How good does that feel? I mean, fucking, I've kept my private life pretty private for the last two years. I've had a long way off, uh, trying to get emotional here. Uh, that put, I just got married then the last year. Um, that, that big fuck. Wait to hear the end of the story. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, fucking. And the, the strain it put on my marriage of not fighting, as anybody knows, it's like women going shopping, it's retail therapy for them, guys fighting in there, that's my therapy. And me not getting in the ring, the majority of the time I took out my wife, uh, ended up divorced within a year, and then fucking a long road back to here. Uh, so it means a lot more than just fighting in the night. <clears throat> what was the thoughts going into the third round, mate? At all? What was your corner saying to you going into the third? I, I was asking him if I was, if I was up around her, or what, and he says, I said it was around each, and D uh, Dean McCorner guy was like, I wasn't sure, he's like, it might give you the first bit, let's, let's just go way around each, so I knew I had to, I knew I had to win the, the third round, but as I said, he it, it was fucking loading up that right hand, and I knew if he landed early, especially when you get tired in the third round, it was going to be, it was going to be a, 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 an early night for me, so, it, it was just really, because, did you see it, how hard he was throwing that right hand, I was like, holy fuck, if I get hit with that, so, it did put a wee bit of doubt in my mind, but then again, like Brad Pickett said at the end, he's like, you hit one of, you're one of the hardest hitters in here, so fuck what they're hitting you with, as long as you hit them with your shot, he's like, it's going to be worse for them, but I mean, the last time I fucking jumped over that cage in, in Glasgow, passed me 50 grand, <laughs> jumped up in the cage this time, I seen the wee cunt again, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it, right here, and like, you're going to get fined, I'm not giving a fucking... Gave the, the wee man a big cuddle again, but it's worth it. If they find me again, I don't give a fuck. They can keep the money. I don't fight for money. How does that, <coughs> alongside that, that Glasgow win, you know, there are parallels to it, but given everything that you were just talking about there and everything you've been through over Different last emotions, year, oh. different emotions. I was on top of the world going out in Glasgow. Going into this one, I was fucking down here, bottom, bottom of the bottom. And you just got to rebuild and come back, you know, it's what it's about in there. It's more than just a fight in the night in there for me. It's... You seem more relieved than jovial, Robert. Would that be accurate to say that you're relieved at the moment rather than... Um... It's just, it, it's no, it's not about winning, you know. I know I'm fucking capable of beating anybody in the world and getting in there and proving it. It's just what I've come back for, you know, it's fucking... I've never drunk in my life in this last year. I was fucking turned in an alcoholic. I was fucking drinking every day. Couldn't get me in my house. And then really, it's just for my friends fucking coming and dragging me out and getting me back in here. If I didn't have them, fuck knows where it would be. Robert, we saw, you know... We can see how much this win means to you. And now, you know, coming in, getting that win, you know, you know, sort of win bit far behind your sails, you know, what's the plan now is to keep, just keep getting in there as much as, off, much as, much as possible? Keep me busy, I don't want to go back in that drink. Fuck me. Cost me a fortune as well. <laughs> <laughs> is that a full stop in this, Rob? Like, do you think that, like, getting back in here, getting that win, do you think you put that behind you now, that put that part of your life? So it was going to be in the back of my mind, fucking going from everything to nothing and then coming back just showing a wee bit of myself, you know what I mean? It's, it means a lot, but what's happened, I'll never forget, you know, it fucking ruined my life those 18 months off. 
would you see in your future with wrestling? <sighs> Who knows? Just as long as they give me fights, and as I've said a long time before, if it wasn't for Jude Samuel, I wouldn't be here either. Uh, he's been patient with me and kept in touch, and he's a fucking great guy. And if anybody knows, I don't go in there and fight for money. It's more about relationships and the journey. As Brad always told me, it's about the journey as far as it along the way and who you meet. And Jude's one of those good guys. It's it's always kept in touch with me and been dying to get me fighting on the side. And as soon as I finished the fight, I was looking for the motherfucker. I couldn't see him. I was like, "What the fuck is he?" I was just I just want to let him know. I was, I'm I'm so like fucking. How, what's the word I'm looking for? Grateful. Great, grateful <laughs> for him giving me the shot. You know what I mean? Rob, um, there's probably going to be a lot of other guys in. In the UK and the world, probably hit times like you have mm. recently. What's kind of your advice for them? <sighs> Just keep coming back. You, nobody can keep you down as long as you, you come back up. And friends mean a friend. I've got the best friends in the world. You, re, you really think you've got good friends, and you find out who the ones are are there when you've got nothing. You know, it's all right when, when you're flying high and you're doing everything they're doing. But uh, when I mean I couldn't get in my bed, I was in my bed for fucking three weeks. I couldn't even fucking couldn't even lift my head off the pillow. I was fucking bad place, but. Just got to keep coming back and fighting those demons, and who knows where it can take you, knocking some dirt in fucking London. Was there one moment where it kind of, was there like, can you just remember one moment where it all kind of changed? Mm. Fuck, it's been a long road, honestly, I couldn't have. Mm. Could, I couldn't have put it in the work, my wee pal, my wee pal Kevin, who's my corner guy here tonight. <coughs> I let him down the summer as well. So it was just to have him here the night with him and just to prove to him that I wasn't the guy that was going down that bad road that I'm back to being myself. <coughs> and I'm here for a long time again. Just keep me fighting. Cheers. I think it's one of the absolute